Hey, what's up everyone? This video today, I'm going to be talking a little bit about my actual at the tournament practice routine. See you in a second. Alright, so I think that one of the more understated ways that you can actually help yourself shoot well uh, during competition is to shoot a practice round before the day starts and also before each event possibly even. Now if you're in a small tournament you may not always have this option to go shoot a practice round before the day starts and especially not before every single event. The smaller the tournament the more likely it is that you're not going to have that luxury to get the shoot a practice round and very very few small tournaments actually give you the opportunity to shoot a practice round before uh, every event starts that day. So the big tournaments, every big tournament that I've been to, I've been able to shoot a practice round before every single event if I wanted to. Um, it was totally up to me, my decision as far as if I wanted to do that. But they, the, the shoot management and the facility, they offered that that luxury that you could shoot a practice round before the event start you know if you scheduled everything right so this really helps guys I can tell you several times that I've been kind of in a little bit of a slump and I was able to hit that practice round while I was actually at the tournament field went over to the practice trap shot me a practice round and I was able to kind of get out of that slump and really just kind of refine my fundamentals if you will and just have a good round at a tournament, you know, and, I, and obviously, you know, it doesn't work every time. Sometimes you're still going to have a bad round, but you can really improve the consistency of your scores by shooting a practice round, especially if you're a new or inexperienced shooter uh, to competitive trap shooting. This can be a really big benefit for you to just go out there, especially if you're shooting in a new facility, and kind of get used to the facility, you know, get used to the background, get used to the conditions that day. Also, kind of get woke up if you're shooting early in the morning. Uh, it can be hard sometimes, especially, you know, maybe later in the shoot, fourth, fifth, sixth day of the tournament. It can be a little bit tougher sometimes for people to get up early every single day like that because a lot of times we are getting up earlier whenever we're at a tournament as compared to what we may be doing at a, you know, normal vacation or something like that. You're having to get up earlier in the morning so that you can get around and get ready for today's events. So having the ability to get a little bit warmed up, your muscles warmed up, to get um, woke up a little bit is really good. It can also help you just kind of clarify your fundamentals. Make sure everything's clicking, make sure everything's clear in your head as to what you need to do to have a successful day um, in the events, you know, so that you can win or post really high scores that are really close to winning. And shooting a practice round is just it's critical, especially for the first event. Now, I'm not going to say you need to shoot a practice round before every single event. I think that that kind of varies on the person. Most of the time in the past, I have shot a practice round before almost every single event. Especially if, if I know I'm going into a tournament and I'm struggling with handicaps, say, um, you know, I'm going to shoot more handicaps in practice. So, whereas I shoot one box of singles, maybe 20 doubles, so 10 pair of doubles total, and I may go shoot two boxes of handicaps if I'm struggling with that as opposed to just shooting one. And hopefully I'm able to get that figured out. Now the key is the scheduling and to understand that, you know, you have to be on time at your squad. So you have to kind of be thinking about, okay, if I'm the third wave out for today, so, you know, say there's five fields, I'm field four, the third wave on field four. How do I need to schedule it so that I can go shoot my practice round before I shoot without slowing down the competition, making sure I'm at the field at the right time so that I have time to relax and, you know, basically get your game face on and get ready for the tournament. So, you know, thinking about things like that, make sure you pre-plan it so that you, you don't feel rushed. You know, you don't want to feel rushed and have to really just breeze through your practice round. You don't have time to focus on the fundamentals. And just make sure that you're ready for your competition round. So, guys, this is really a beneficial component to add to your shooting, I think, is shooting a practice round if you have that opportunity before your events. It really helps out, especially early in the morning. Sometimes if you're shooting handicaps and doubles, you know, later in the afternoon, you're usually going to shoot handicaps late morning to mid to early afternoon, depending on the size of the tournament you're at. And a lot of times you'll shoot your doubles around mid to late. So you may already be nice 
and warmed up by then. You may not need to shoot a practice round later in the day. Earlier in the day, it's a big advantage. It's something that I think can really help you out, especially if you're a new shooter. So be sure and check into this if you have the opportunity to shoot a practice round. I highly recommend it. It's helped me a lot over the years just to kind of get some things clear in my head and make sure I'm executing well on the things that I need to be focusing on. So thank you guys so much for watching today. I really appreciate it. You can subscribe to my channel here. I'd really appreciate it if you did that. You can also watch another video here. Have a great rest of your day.